Impact Music. Young boy, 18, by the name of Casey. He was in and out of trouble. Familiar face of the. Welcome back to Quarter Water TV. Before we get into the topic today, I need you to like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, you know all that good stuff they us YouTubers use, you know the drill. But to get right to it, today I want to talk about, I have a a, a question I want to throw out there for y'all, but I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. Is Troy Ave a snitch? If you ask me, that's really not a question. You got caught you got caught shooting a gun in a club in New York City, right? Outside of the club, you get caught with some guns in the stash box or a gun some gun, two guns or a gun. I I'm not really sure. I don't really remember, but he got caught with a a weapon in his car in his stash box he was never charged for killing his friend and by the way rest in peace banger you know what i'm saying he never was charged uh with, with killing his friend him telling he told for two reasons he told to get tax stone out the way that's number one well, really, number two, number one is really he told to get that case off his back. He not trying to go to jail for that gun, for the guns. So he told. Now, let's say he didn't. Let's say he 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 did that gangster. He he was shooting on camera, and he wouldn't have got charged uh for the guns. I bet you he wouldn't have told, because he want to keep that image of being this tough gangster and bricks in my backpack and all this other fugaga stuff he be talking. You know what I'm saying? And this is the thing that drives me crazy. On uh, YouTube, if you go if you go to certain videos and you go in the comments, it's a bunch of dudes in there saying crazy. Oh, what was he supposed to do? He I, once you start saying making excuses for people snitching, I know you was never in the street. If you was, you was a bozo. Like I know that. Like you know what I'm saying? I know you was never outside for real. You one of them dudes that was just sitting on the internet and acting pretend. It's a lot of that going on too. Like it's a lot of these dudes that I don't I don't believe you was really outside for real. Like y'all be saying too much crazy stuff that don't make no sense. Calling people rats that ain't like what? For example, people be calling Tax Stone a rat because his lawyer sent a uh some kind of letter to the judge. Man, you don't control what your lawyer say. Like when what what court case you ever see somebody tell the lawyer, yo, go in the court and say this. You don't tell the lawyer what to say. The lawyer tells you, yo, I'm about to file a motion, the whoop de whoop de woo, and that's it. You don't know what he's about to put in that. He might give you a synopsis of what he's about to put in there, but he ain't, I'm pretty sure he ain't tell Tax Stone. Yeah, I'm about to implicate uh ta he he's a lawyer. He can say whatever he want tax don't didn't get on no stand and tax don't didn't say he didn't even tell his side of the story to the public so how i don't understand how people be saying oh tax don't tell, like what you know what i'm saying the only person i understand why they making excuses for troy ave is uh trife gangster trife gangster is banger's brother i understand because he you feel what I'm saying that's his brother he mad he couldn't get no get. It ain't like he. You feel what I'm saying? He couldn't get his get back, and he. You feel what I'm saying? I understand his frustration. So, even though I don't agree with what he's doing either, but I understand it. Like you feel what I'm saying? But we get back to the point. Troy Ave is two hundred percent a snitch. It ain't no. There's no getting around it. He's out here doing a six nine. That's that's how you know the streets is over, man. For you kids, any kids see this? Just Stay out them streets, man. It, it, the, the street, the, the game is over, man. For real, for real. It's over. It's over. You got people making, you got people snitching. You got people, at least, don't get me wrong. Back in the day, there always was people, there always was snitches outside. Not outside, but there was always snitches in the game. But at least back in the day, when somebody told, 
you you never seen them again. They wasn't running around just frolicking around people. They either got dealt with or you never seen them again. Like they wasn't still trying to commit crime. Once I started seeing people tell and they still they get back they get out of jail and they still commit crime and people mess with them because they getting money or whatever whatever or because they tough because you know this this the this the uh, a myth that a lot of people think because you a snitch you soft. There's a lot of snitches that still be shooting people, still are put in work. So so a lot of time, these dudes be putting in work. They tell on somebody, come on, and people don't say nothing because they scared of them. There's a lot of that going on, too. Like You know what I'm saying? That's the part people don't want to. It's a lot of people that, you know, that was tough, and they end up cooperating. You know what I'm saying? It happens. But I don't care if you tough or not. I'm, I'm not going to go around. I ain't in the street. So I ain't gonna go around saying, "Oh, you a rat, you a rat, you a rat." But I'm not messing with you. I'm not gonna be around you. Like you feel what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be kicking around you. Like like everything is all good. Cause first of all, to me, snitching is a problem to me, and it it don't really got nothing to do with being in the street. It got something to do with to me. It got something to do with accountability. Like if you commit a crime, right? Do the time for your crime. Why you got to tell on somebody else trying to wiggle your way out of what you did? Like, it's weird, like, to me, especially being grown. Like, you get caught for something and you go, man, I, man, such and such was out. That's crazy. Like, just do your time or get out the street. Go get a job. Them same dudes that be telling, if you tell them go get a job, they, man, job, man. Like, yeah, go get a job. Yeah. That's what people do. Most people, you feel what I'm saying? It's what regular citizens do that don't want to be going to jail. They go get jobs. Yeah, go get a job, man. Get out the streets, man. It's over, man. Troy Ave, you are a bozo, man. Troy, let me let me let me say this. People like Troy Ave, 6 9 It's like they get a kick out of aggravating street dudes. It's like that's what turned the internet is like to me. It turned into like revenge of the nerds. We really living in revenge of the nerds. The nerds is coming up, so now they throwing rocks at the at the the dudes that they thought was cool. Like so now the internet is the place. You feel what I'm saying? So if you look at the count, look at look at the comment section with people with all the people that be justifying Troy Ave snitching. Any video with Troy Ave in it, just look at the comment section. It's a bunch of weirdos in there justifying Troy Ave telling on somebody. Like, when even if you even if you ain't in the street, you a grown man. If you do something, you be accountable for what you did. You don't go tell on somebody else. That's crazy. Like I don't man. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm the weirdo, man. That's you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm the weirdo now and everybody else right, man. I don't know, but that's all I got to say about that, man. You know what I'm saying? Till the next time, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share, Quarter Water TV, and I'm out. Water Gang. Maybach Music. Young boy, 18, by the name of KC.